Hello everyone, this is Polaroid Owl and today I want to show you my planner setup for 2016. So this is my Kiki K yellow planner and I love this one. It's really, really pretty. I actually got the Webster's Pages one first because the design on the inside is really beautiful. So, but the rings are too small. So I just moved all, all my creative notes into this one. These are notes for different uh, novels and short stories that I'm working on. Or trying to work on. So this is my 2016 planner. I switch planner quite a lot. I always come back to this particular one. I'm gonna just grab it over here. I always come back to this one and I probably will move back into this one eventually. Um, this is one of my favorite planners. The leather is really smooth and beautiful and I love the dark blue on the inside. So Eventually, I know I will move back into this one, but I like to switch it up every now and then and right now I'm using my yellow Kiki K. So when you open it up, oops, it looks like this and I have a little to-do pad, some uh, scrapbook paper, a laminated um, journaling card I got from a pen pal, some washi samples that I probably won't use and in the back here I have a schedule for my gym my new address because I just moved into a new apartment and a birthday card I got from my best friend because I just turned 25 which is really nice um, Sorry for the glare. I'm, my desk is right in front of a window. This is the view from my window. Um, so there's gonna be a, a glare. I'm sorry. You just have to deal with it. Um, so I made this dashboard. I just got a laminator. I never had one before. So now I'm just making dashboards and dividers and just going crazy with it. So I put a picture on this up on my Instagram and on the back I have all the goals for 2016. So when I archive my planner pages for 2016, um, this dashboard will go with them. And here I have my personal information that I need to update because I've changed address again. So these are the dividers. I have one. Just eight, eight dividers. Wow, but it's only seven sections. Um, so I made this with all little different scrapbooking paper that I got at my local scrapbook store, and they're all double sided. So the first section is basically like a monthly to do list goals. Uh, school deadlines and a menu plan for uh, four weeks in advance. Um, so these are the pages that come with the Webster's pages and these boxes are really really small so I tend to write really really tiny just dinners that I, me and my best friend have planned out for the week um, because we cook uh, she cooks on Mondays, I'm Tuesday, she wants, uh, you know, we alter. Um, but I really like this inserts. I actually bought a one pack, an extra pack for myself uh, of just these because one of my local craft stores have these in stock. So I bought some extra of them and it was nice to have some extra because I know I will use these. I've used this for past two months, three months, maybe, I don't know. If you can hear something in the back, it's my cat. She's grooming. <laughs> so my next divider is just notes. <coughs> These are also inserts from Webster's Pages, these thicker ones. 
then I have some note paper or like note sheets from uh, from a notepad from Target that I got from an Etsy store and then just regular note paper from Kiki K. These are just scratch paper. This is not a great quality paper. I usually write like ideas for different short stories on this one. This one is just random notes and thoughts and ideas and this one is just scratch papers like I don't care what happens with this because it's not it's not good paper um, my next divider I have some lists so this is my makeup to get list and then I really want the Star Wars lipstick but they're sold out everywhere and I don't know if they're gonna have it in again I'm so sad I missed it these are some things that I want to do more regularly uh, some just some tips to um, not procrastinate because I do that a lot movies I want to see in 2016 and I'm so excited for the Batman vs Superman guys like seriously and the Suicide Squad and Deadpool and like all of them it's gonna be amazing and the new Ghostbusters jeez I'm gonna be like in the movies every month <laughs> for this year I'm so happy uh, and then I just have just empty note pages and oh, just a random list and a line guide for blank paper. My next divider is just to do lists and checklists more. This one is more like generalist, and this is more like checklists. These are some things that I had to buy for my new apartment. And which I already got some extra to do sheets, some more extras, fly leaf, and some wish list for my apartment, a blank one, home to do's, a planner wish list. Oh, this is just a research list, master to do list for my thesis, more thesis list, letters I want to send, more letters that I have to send. And this is the planner challenge for January because I realized that I don't post much if I don't have a schedule. So this really helps. So I'm just post putting that one. And the next divider is my monthly. And I made this little no spend tracker. I've done really well so far. Despite the Kiki K sale. Anyway, so this is January. Looks like this. A lot of birthdays in January. My own, including one of my brothers, my and two of my friends. My best friend's birthday and one of my other friend's birthdays are in January. So I've had a lot that I had to do for this particular week. I'm finally finished this course. It was really fun, but the last last piece of the like a pad what am I trying to say the final things of the course was really heavy uh, anyway and then I track my bills and on the back I just put some notes of uh, like things I want to remember for each day and these the rest of the ones are kept blank I just I think yeah I put a sticker down for June because me and my sister and my older brother are going to Berlin to see Coldplay which is gonna be amazing so the next divider is my weekly so this is a workout tracker I haven't filmed because I did go to the gym on the 15th but I'm trying to go to the gym more I got a gym card on the 4th and so far I've been there four times but it's a lot of fun. I'm trying to get into like a schedule. And these are the courses I'm taking in 2016, this spring. And this is, uh, so I have like a color coding system um, for this. Um, yeah. So these are like for pre for like pre-planning and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put much school stuff in here because I have another school planner. Wait, it looks like this. 
where I put, it's all color coded and I put all my deadlines in, in this one. So I might not need to put it in this one, but I like to put like bigger deadlines. If I have a paper or something that is due, I want to put it in this one because this is one I look at daily. And this is just like a list on how to plan an awesome week, which I like to keep there. And this is uh, the first week of January, no, yeah. This is my birthday, I'm a January child, I'm born on the 1st of January, so I tend to celebrate my birthday on the New Year's. But anyway, and then this is the last week, and this is this week. I haven't checked off everything, but yeah. And this is next week, I haven't put anything in here yet. And this is how I have like up until July in here. In the back here I have some quotes from Twin Peaks because I like that show and I I like to keep these quotes here because I really like Agent Cooper. Anyway, so this is my next divider. I'm back to the star paper. I really love this paper. It's beautiful. So these are the next um, kind of weeklies I have used. It's, maybe it seems a little bit weird that I use two weeklies, but I really wanted to try out these inserts. I got this from Scrap Craftastic on Etsy, I think. I'm not sure. I, I think that's the name of her shop. Anyway, these are printable. So I printed these on regular printer paper. So it's not the best quality paper, but it's fine because I cover up it with cover it with stickers. Most of these stickers you can see are from Kitten Plants. It's one of my favorite Etsy stores. I buy most of my stickers like these boxes and stuff from her. And these ones are from, this is a printable from some store. These ones I made myself. Um, so it kind of looks like this. Um, I'm just trying, trying it out, seeing if I like it. And then I made my own boxes. They're not perfect. I'm just, I'm just trying it out. I made these little ones. Most of these are actually printables. Like these these ones, the full boxes and these pattern ones are from Kitten Plants and these these ones, the headers, I made myself. These ones are printable, this one I made. Yeah, so it's like a collection. Like these top ones are also some stickers that I made. So I mix it up with things that I've actually made myself and stuff that are I got for, for free. From different blogs um, so this is today and this is next week I actually did plan ahead a little bit and I think this week's this week is only stickers that I've either taking taking pictures from Pinterest and printed out like these ones that are like classy sticker paper or I've made these stickers myself in Word and printed them out on stick and paper and cut them out and just put them in here. So all these stickers you can see here are things that I've made myself using the internet and Word. <laughs> so obviously all these like these pictures are from um, from different pin there are Pinterest pictures. Um, and then I have a little extra sheets. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue using these. So far I like it because these give me like daily, like a little more space to put a list in. I do use a daily list like a notebook where I put like longer lists in but I like to keep these lists because they don't fit in the weeklies here because it's so small. Anyway. So this is the last section and then back here I have some sticker sheets that I got with, this is from the Mint Planner and these are from the Dark Mint Planner. 
Yeah. And then I have some hole reinforcers, an extra pocket, and uh, not a flyleaf, but a page protector, a page lifter in the back. And then I have the time opening times for my gym. And then I got, oops, let's do like this. And this is a new pen that I got, oops, a new pen that I got I really like. Don't follow your dreams, chase them. And this one is from KKK, and I really, really love this pen. Pam? <laughs> Seriously? Pen. <laughs> I really love this pen. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so anyway, that is my planner set up for 2016. I hope you like this video. Leave it a thumbs up or favorite it or something or whatever you like. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. It's a little bit late to say that now since it's over. But anyway, <laughs> have a great day and take care.